Hello and welcome to another Raggy's Beer Review. So, okay. stop calling myself Sticky Rag. I've got to get this floor mop tomorrow night. So, uh, massive thank you to Bolton Wonder for gifting these beers to the channel. Uh, very, very kind. Uh, this is from Loch Lomond Brewery and it's Hit It Chewy. It's a Scottish tablet stout. Um, Gotta be honest, I'm not sure what a tablet stout is, but I'm sure I'll find out. Four and a half percent. Um, hops of Pacifica, caramel aroma, chocolate and coffee flavour, smooth warm finish. And uh, no, uh, not sure what a tablet stout is, unless it's just a, what they class as a lower ABV stout. Um, So here we go. Oh, gone nine o'clock at night. Um, it does seem to be the getting to the regular that my beer reviews just get later and later because of commitments. And it's not like COVID days where you know, five o'clock and, and I'm doing two or three reviews. I wish. Um, so yeah, Scottish tablet stout, hit it chewy, chewy, chew back. Um, but yeah, it's a lovely black pour, little to no head at all, really, a little bit like a white line of head. Yeah, chocolate aroma. Cheers all. Oh yeah, chocolate aroma, certainly chocolate and caramel on the taste. Uh, Lot Lemon, Scottish brewery of course. Um, a brewery that's quite strong in, in certainly Lidl. I um, can't remember seeing them in, in any other supermarkets to be fair. But certainly in Lidl. I mean that's a good thing even, even if just one supermarket because Lidl sell a few beers. Certainly delivering the chocolate and um, caramel taste. Let the air get to it. I don't know whether that was a fly or a piece of fluff. It must be a piece of fluff or something. Just there. Bugger. So I'm, I'm, I'm a, I've just woke up this morning, half past five, I'm downstairs, lying on the settee. My normal, my normal process is get up at half five, Put the kettle on, put it on in the kitchen, the electric kettle. Turn it on so it's boiled, so it already boiled once. So when I turn it on at six to make the coffee, it cuts the time down loads. Yeah, I might have wasted a bit of electricity, but it's not a problem. And it gets on the settee and I'm lying there, I'm, I'm just chilling. It, it's my wake up call for the day. I have an hour of chill and then I get up and I'm lying there and there's this buzzing. It's like bzzz, bzzz, bzzz. And it's like, oh, that's piss off and, lying there. and you, you, there's a point where lack of dripping tap it just gets on your nerves and you're ready to kill fucking get jumps off looks up there it is on the fucking path, french doors open the french doors like that and the fucking thing's still buzzing against the door instead of thinking hey up oh, bit of wind well i'm out so i had to get a piece of cardboard and flip the bloody thing out the door shut the door no buzzing it was like Hallelujah. Yeah, so bloody annoying. I mean, we've got we've got a um, toilet upstairs and uh, it's a sunny flow toilet. And that's got the same issue, a dripping, bloody dripping, drip, 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 and it just drives you insane. And so I have to I have to make sure it's turned off at nights because I can't go to sleep with dripping. I can't lie there and I and I'm you know the slightest noise and that's it i just i can't i need to i need it to be quiet so i can just go and then that's it and then or somebody gets up for a pee in the middle of the night and wakes you up although i'm as guilty of that as myself 
Most nights I'm up about twice in the night for a wee. Uh, minimum once, but mostly twice. And uh, yeah, it just winds you up. And what is it? What is it about? So I go up half hour of my alarm. The morning's now dark, obviously, because it's, it's pulling in again. So it's half five. This morning, I mean, I, that was the first wee. And I'm lying there for, oh God, I need a wee. And I can't go to sleep. And I'm lying there, I think, oh, come on, come on. Let's stretch it out, let's go. No. Gets up, goes for a wee, gets back into bed, just looks down at me, me, me phone, two minutes past five, and you're thinking, could you not have waited 28 bloody minutes? You know, just, oh, it just does you nothing, hey. Eh? Eh, I mean, really, I mean, that 28 minutes, just a more chill. And already, you, you know, then, then the fly downstairs and it's like, oh, for God's sake. So, yeah, certainly delivers on the taste. I'm not sure what a tablet stout is, to be honest. I know somebody's already commented when I did the beer haul, because uh, I, like I said them, I don't know what a tablet stout is. And, I, and I've already forgot, you know. Brain like a sieve. Um, yeah. It, it delivers on the chocolate and caramel, uh, on the nose. More about the chocolate on those with a touch of caramel in the background. It's it's a nice thin uh, stout. I mean, I'm not talking ridiculously thin. I'm just saying it's thin, not like an impy. Yeah, flavors long lasting is all the way down your throat. Still getting that flavor. Literally, what 20, 30 seconds after gulping it. So. Long lasting flavour on there, really. Um, and like I say, at 4.5%, you know, it's what you would class as a sessionable uh, stout, really, at that. At that. Uh, one of these days, I'll get Lot Lomond on cask or keg, even. Uh, we don't see it down this end of the neck of the woods. Um, maybe at the Robin Hood Bear Festival, if I can afford to go. Well, I have. I've already bought the tickets, but and uh, that's another. That's a, that's a that's a beer of raggy. That is. It's a, it's funny. Uh, something a topic comes up, and it's like, let's talk about that topic, and it is. You know, um, there are topics that need to be discussed, rightly or wrongly. You know, people will argue one side. People will argue the other, and. Uh, I personally have my own views that if things are starting to get expensive, but hey, that's for another, that's for another video. Um, yeah, it's a very decent, um, sessionable stout. Delivers on what it says. Another great Scottish brewery that are doing well. Did a uh, collab with Emperor's Brewery. I'm sure they've done one with another local brewery. Probably Neon Raps with anybody. Um, will I drink it again? Yeah. Out of five for me, good 4.3 out of five. And that is my review. Thank you for watching. Back to sticking. Cheers, all.